of class 3 let us today see your uh, sin passage that is from the lesson a pound of butter that is your chapter number 3 okay the chapter a pound of butter reads something like this the passage i'm going to read now Farmer Winston had a large farm near the little town of Plainsville. The people of Plainsville depended on Farmer Winston for milk, butter and cheese. Even Mr. Carson, the baker, bought his supplies from Farmer Winston. Every morning, Farmer Winston drove up to the bakery and delivered the day's supply. Milk came in large metal cans. There were large round blocks of creamy cheese and the golden yellow butter came in one pound packets shaped like bricks. Mr. Carson was a good baker. His cakes were the lightest in town and his bread was delicious. He enjoyed his work but this morning Mr. Carson was frowning for the last few days, his cakes had not turned out as well as they usually did. There was something wrong, but he couldn't understand it. He had used the same amount of everything, butter, sugar, eggs and flour, but the cakes were not the same. So this is the passage, uh, that is the, uh, in the beginning of the chapter, number four uh, number three chapter three a pound of butter now the questions follow read the given passage and answer the following questions the passage i read just now now some sample questions for your scene passage where did farmer winston and mr carson live so you may write straight away they lived in a small town of plains village whom did Mr. Carson buy his supplies from. Mr. Carson bought his supplies from Farmer Winston. What did Farmer Winston deal in? Farmer Winston dealt in milk, butter and cheese. Who delivered the day's supply to Mr. Carson and when? Farmer Winston delivered the day's supply to Mr. Carson in the morning. Now some more question answers will follow. Now the next question number five. How can you say that Mr. Carson was a good baker? We can say that Mr. Carson was a good baker because his cakes were the lightest in town and his bread was delicious why was mr carson frowning frowning means angry why was he angry mr carson was frowning because for the last few days his cakes had not turned out as well as they usually did what ingredients did Mr. Carson use to prepare cakes? He used butter, sugar, eggs and flour. So these were some of the sample questions for your sin passes. The passes, as I said, would be for your exam chapter 3 from your English reader, a pound of butter. So go through the first two paragraphs of that uh, particular chapter. Thank you.